Welcome, dear viewers, to our today's video. Today, we will delve into the world of page navigation in your applications using WinUI. We will learn how to leverage WinUI's functionality to implement transitions between pages using frames and pages. Let's get started. Create a new project. Now, we will create two empty pages. In the Solution Explorer inside the Pages project, right-click, select Add, and then choose New Item. In the Add New Item dialog, select Blank Page and click Add. Repeat the same process to create a second empty page. Set blank page 1 as the main page of your application. You can do this in the app.saml.cs file in the onlaunched method. This code snippet is part of the app class, which inherits from application and represents the main entry point of your WinUI application. Public frame root frame get private set. This declares the root frame property, which represents a frame control for managing navigation between pages in your application. This property is read only and accessible from other parts of the code. Protected override void onlaunched. This method overrides the onlaunched method of the base application class and is called when your application starts. It performs the following actions. Creates an instance of main window representing the main window of your application. Creates an instance of a frame named root frame that will be used for navigation between pages. Performs initial navigation to the main page of your application, blank page one, using root frame, navigate, type off, blank page one. Sets the content of the main window, window, content, to the root frame to display the frame inside the main window. Calls window, activate, to activate the main window and start the application. Implement navigation. Open the, blank page 1.saml, file in Solution Explorer. Inside, blank page 1.saml, create a button or another interface element that will be used for navigating to another page. Add an event handler for this button that will perform the navigation. Frame root frame equals application current dot root frame. This line of code retrieves the root frame from your application. In the context of WinUI, the root frame typically represents the main navigation window of the application, where various pages are displayed. Root frame, navigate, type off, blank page 2, root frame, this line of code calls the navigate method on the root frame to navigate to blank page 2. The first argument type off, blank page 2, specifies the type of the page you want to navigate to. The second argument passes root frame to blank page 2, which will be used for navigation. So, when the user clicks the button, this method is called, and the application transitions from the main page, blank page 1, to the second page, blank page 2, using the root frame. Repeat the same for blank page 2.saml. Create a button or another interface element that will be used for navigating back to the main page, blank page 1. Frame root frame, here, a variable root frame of type frame is declared. This variable will hold the root frame. Private void my button click, this event handler method is called when a button on blank page 2 is clicked. It checks if navigation back is possible using root frame dot can go back. If it is, root frame dot go back is executed, and the application returns to the previous page. Protected override void on navigated to, this method is called when navigating to this page. It's overridden to handle the event when navigating to blank page 2. This method performs the following actions. 
calls the base implementation base.onNavigated to to handle standard navigation behavior. Checks if there's AE.parameter which is passed during navigation. In this case, it's expected to be an instance of frame. If the parameter is not null and is an instance of frame, it's assigned to the root frame. Now you have an application with two empty pages, blank page 1 and blank page 2, and basic navigation between them.